On Galaxy phones, just one click can enhance your photos and give it the punch you need before you want to share it with someone. It's a Samsung-owned app called Galaxy Enhance X. You can get it from the Galaxy store and once you do, just choose a picture and tap on this button and within about 3-4 to four seconds, it's going to give you a really punched up photo which you can then share and you can just look at the before and after, there's quite a bit of difference. Now there are other things like you can fix blur and if you do that, you can see how much sharper the photo has gotten. There's also other stuff like removing reflections and shadows, that is if your photos do have them. And if you've got a face in the photo, it's going to give you additional options like uh, adding a blur in the background or even changing the shape of the face just a bit like, you know, tweaking the jawline or tweaking the eyes. Now obviously this isn't for experts, it's for majority of us who just want to quickly enhance their photos before they upload or share it on social media. Next, if I unlock with my right thumb, I go straight into gallery and if I unlock with my left thumb, I directly go straight into the camera. How cool is that? Now to set this up, you've got to make sure that you do have fingerprint unlocking already set up with, you know, at least two fingerprints registered. But do check out the name of the fingerprints and you can just check uh, which fingerprint corresponds to which name because you're going to need it. Next, go into Galaxy Store and then download GoodLock. Okay, you've got to install that first. Unfortunately, it may not be available for some M series and F series phones. Anyway, once you've installed, go into Life Up tab and install Routines Plus. That's the module you're going to need. And once it's done, open it up and then go to Fingerprint to Website. Okay, now here, you've got to make some edits. So click on edit, choose the fingerprint at the top, then remove this go to website thing and click on add what this should do. Now scroll down in this list to apps and then select the first one which says open an app. And now you can choose any app, whether it's, you know, the camera, gallery, it could be a couple of actions that you see over here. It's all up to you. Now, just remember that you do have a limitation of being able to register just four fingerprints, which means you can have four such shortcuts. Next, I've set up a very quick gesture to launch any app on my phone. For this, again, go to Good Lock and this time install One Hand Operation Plus. And once you've done it, open it up and then go into whichever handle you might want to uh, set this up on. I'm going to just go with the left handle and choose one of these actions and set them to Quick Launcher. And that's it actually. Now, if you just swipe diagonally down, it's going to open up that launcher. And obviously guys, the whole thing is completely customizable. You can choose which apps you want here. Uh, you can rearrange them. Uh, you can disable some. You can enable ones that you don't see here. Uh, you can even create more pages. Uh, you can go to the extent of adding folders to this. So if you want to, you know, just group certain apps together, you can do that. Very, very convenient. And the thing is that because it works from the side or the edge, you could be on any app and you can quickly call this quick launcher and shift to any other app like that. Next, did you know that most Galaxy smartphones can connect to multiple Bluetooth speakers at the same time and it can play the same music on those speakers at the same time. So let's say you're connected to two speakers using Bluetooth, all right, and you're playing some music. Just go to your notification tray, expand this and click on media output. And then you will see both your speakers that are connected and just enable both of them. And now you can independently control their volumes and that's great. And I think this is great for parties or even when you have two earphones. So it doesn't have to be two speakers. It could be an earphone and a speaker or just both of them could be earphones. Next, and this is a quick one. In your Samsung keyboard, there's an extract text option, which if you enable and just put any text in front of it, it's going to pick it up and insert it into your input field, which you can then use however you want. Now guys, this happens a lot, right? You pretty much give your phone to someone so that they can take a look at something, but you do have this fear that you just hope that they don't go around looking on your phone on other apps or your messages. There's a way out for that. What you've got to do is pin the app. So let's say I'm in this app. I just go into recent apps and then click on the app icon. And I have this option called pin this app. And once I do this, guys, whoever I give my phone to, they cannot go out of it. No matter what they do, click back, go home, or even like try to pull down the notification tray, nothing. The only way to unpin this is to swipe up and hold and then know the unlock code to the phone. And that's the only way they can get out of it. So to set this up, go into settings, then into security, scroll all the way down to other security settings and click on pin app. Turn this on and make sure ask for pin before unpinning is also turned on. That's it. Now guys, one of the most underrated apps is Samsung Wallet, which has been updated with a lot of features. It can host like a lot of important stuff, your documents, your credit cards, vouchers, digital keys, and whatnot. 
So let's say you want to add your vaccination certificate. Guess what? It is connected with the Cowin website and you enter your phone number and have those certificates come in. You can also sync it up with DigiLocker and have all your documents and IDs imported. You can use it for, you know, UPI payments. You can use it for fast tags. You can store all your credit cards. And I mean, this is basically an enhanced Samsung Pay, but with so many more things. Now, obviously, the functionalities that you see on Samsung Wallet are different in this video because I'm in India, so it's very tuned to Indian services. But depending on which part of the world you're in, Samsung Wallet can offer you different functionalities. Now, you know, guys, we spend a lot of money in getting a phone with a very good display. So we, you know, get 120Hz refresh rate, LTPO panels. And you could be curious as to whether your phone drops the refresh rate to save battery when you're doing something that's, you know, uh, not doesn't require 120 FPS or when you're playing a game and you want to know whether you're getting good refresh rates or not. Turns out you don't need an app for that. There's an inbuilt way to do it. So if you see, it shows 120 at the top left corner. That's the FPS that I'm getting when I'm on YouTube. And to enable this, go into settings, go into about phone and look for software information. Now click on build number seven times, which will unlock the developer mode. Now go back and under about phone, you'll see developer options. Just scroll down a little bit and you'll see an option called show refresh rate. That's it. Turn that on and it's all done. You'll see the refresh rate over there and you see that this goes down to 24 frames per second when I'm not using it. And as soon as I start using it, it jumps to 120 FPS. So yeah, if you ever want to see what refresh rates you're getting, this is the way to do it. Now guys, if you use your phone to shoot videos like for vlogs or reels or even for YouTube, don't use the uh, regular video mode. Switch to the Pro mode, which is actually available in a lot of Samsung smartphones. See, normally you would just open the camera app, you'd scroll to video mode, and then you'd start shooting. Here's what I suggest. Go into more and look for Pro video. When you choose that, just, just change the ISO, change the speed, the shutter speed, and the white balance, and set it to something that you really like for the scene that you're shooting. And once you do that, guys, when you start shooting, it will be completely unaffected by the lighting around you. More than that, you could also choose how you wish to record sound, only from the front, from the back, in all directions, and even choose the source depending on if you've attached something using Bluetooth, and set the audio gain as well. And in fact, it also gives you a histogram so you understand exposure better and even the audio levels on the left side. And you probably didn't know this, but your phone can shoot in a lot more frame rates than what you see in the regular video mode. You just have to go into pro mode for it. And this way, you finally get a video footage that does not change or fluctuate in white balance or exposure. And it's a lot easier to process uh, and the output is pretty professional. So yeah, that's it, guys. Those were some tips and tricks for your Galaxy smartphone. Now, obviously, uh, a lot of these features will vary uh, depending on which model you have. So you may have all of these or you may have some of these. But either ways, I hope you benefited. Now, I've done a couple of other videos that do talk about many more tips and tricks so i'll leave them here so you can check them out and as always if you enjoyed watching the video make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel guys hit that bell notification icon and mark all i'll see you guys in the next one